Children, before starting this session, let us discuss something. Tell me, where do you store your clothes? In wardrobe. Where do we store fruits and vegetables? In refrigerator. Why do we need textbooks or notebooks for study? Why we can't just use our brain to remember? Because we can't remember each and everything. We may forget some things. So, our books help us to revise. You are absolutely Similarly, computer also has a limited memory capacity like us. So, it needs some extra storage and memory devices to store a large amount of data. Let us learn more about computer storage and memory devices today. By the end of this session, you will understand data versus information, data storage units, internal and external memory, primary and secondary storage devices. Data is nothing but the raw facts or instructions which you enter into the computer. Data can be letters from A to Z, numbers from 0 to 9, and even special characters. Information is nothing but processed data. For example, if you want to calculate numbers 4 plus 5, to get the result, your data is 4 plus 5, which is input data. And after calculation, your answer 9 is information. That is output. Every processed data is known as information. First, let me test your memory. You have already learned about input, output and storage devices in your previous grades. Can you name these devices? Input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, and joystick. Output devices are monitor, printer, and speakers. And storage devices are CD, DVD, pen drive and memory card you input data using input devices the processing data cpu processes the data and gives results or information through output devices children how do you remember the things you learned at school we use our brains to remember the things we learn Yes, we use our brains. But, does computer has brain? Yeah, the computer has a brain. CPU is a brain of a computer. Because the computer stores all the data and information into the CPU. Computer stores instructions, files, and folders into its memory until they are deleted. Or erased. You can open or retrieve them even after years. We can understand and respond in the English language. But a computer does not understand English, which means it does not understand A, B, C, or Z. It only understands binary language, which consists of two characters, 0 and 1. This is because the computer is an electronic machine. And it can understand only two states, that are on, which is represented by 1, and off, represented by 0. These digits are called binary digits. For example, the word ant is written as as 011000100110110. Zero double one double zero double zero one in binary. How do you measure milk? 
We measure milk in liters or milliliters. How do you measure vegetables? We measure vegetables in kilograms. And how do you measure clothes? We measure clothes in meters. Similarly, computer memory is measured in bits. A bit is a single digit that can be either 0 or 1. It is the smallest unit of measurement. A collection of 8 bits is called a byte. Letter B is used as an abbreviation for bytes. Look at the measurement units and their conversions. 1 geobyte is the highest measuring unit. Among these, you can remember only the first six rows, that is, until 1 terabytes. Types of computer memory and its storage devices Computer memory is classified into Primary, or internal memory, and secondary, or external memory Internal memory is further divided into RAM and ROM and external memory is classified into hard disk, CD, DVD, BLU ray disk, pen drive, and memory card. Internal memory Internal memory is also known as primary or main memory. It stores instructions and data on which the computer is currently working. Hence, it has limited capacity. As the computer turns off, the data is lost. Internal memory has two parts. RAM, random access memory. ROM, read-only memory. Random access memory. Random access memory can be accessed directly by the CPU. It is the read-write memory. Information can be read from and written onto it. RAM stores the data that the user is using while working on the computer. Read-only memory Read-only memory is the computer memory from which information can be read. It cannot be written or erased. ROM is non-volatile memory. Programs such as BIOS, Basic Input-Output System, are used for loading the operating system. It starts when the computer is switched on. Hence, the information is not lost when the power is switched off. External Memory External memory is also called secondary or auxiliary memory. The computer's memory is limited or temporary. Therefore, there is need to use secondary storage device. They help to store large amount of data permanently. Hard disk Hard disk is the most commonly used secondary storage device. It is present inside the CPU. It is a magnetic storage device. It uses magnetic spots to represent bits. Presence of magnetic spots represent 1 and absence represent 0. It can store a large amount of data up to 4 terabytes. Hard disks are of two types. Internal hard disk Placed and connected inside the CPU box. External hard disk Present outside the CPU box and connected with cables Compact disk CD is an optical storage media that is circular in shape The games that you play and the music you listen to can be stored on CDs A standard CD can store up to 700 megabytes of data CD drives, that are placed inside the CPU box, 
are required to read and write CDs. CD is of two types. CDR Recordable and write once format. The data written onto this cannot be erased. CDRW It is rewritable CD. The data written onto this can be erased and new data can be added. Digital Versatile Disc DVD looks like a CD. It is an optical storage media. DVD stores data up to 4.7 GB or 17 GB. The storage capacity of a DVD is 7 times more than a CD. A DVD can store more media files than a CD. DVD is also of two types. DVD-R Recordable and write once format. Once recorded, they cannot be edited or erased. DVD-RW Rewritable DVD format. Data can be erased and recorded many times on this DVD. Blu-ray disc A Blu-ray disc and optical storage media. It can hold up to 50 gigabytes of data. The storage capacity of a Blu-ray disc equals to 10 recordable DVDs or around 70 recordable CDs. Pen drive A pen drive is also called a flash drive. It is very small in size and scratch resistant. It is very easy to carry and transfer data from one computer to another. It is connected to the computer through USB ports in the CPU box. Memory card A memory card is very small in size. It is generally used in devices like mobile phones, digital cameras, playstations, and other similar devices. Let us recap. A computer can understand only binary language. It consists of 0 and 1. Internal memory is of two types. RAM and ROM. You can read data from RAM as well as write data onto ROM. You can only read data from ROM. External memory helps store large amount of data permanently. Secondary memory devices are Hard disk, CD, DVD, Blu-ray disk, pen drive, and memory card.